Hey guys, Sports Gaming Fever here, back again this time around, playing some more NHL 14 BGM with the Boston Bruins. So, um, last video, I know it's been a while since the last video, but in the last video I was describing, uh, like, uh, I said the top four teams make the playoffs, but I just remembered now, because I was looking back on that video to actually remember where we left off, um, that... The uh, it's not the top four, it's the top three in each division, and then the top two in the conference. Um, or basically, so the top three in the C division. So, right now, Montreal, Tampa Bay, Detroit, New York Rangers, Carolina, and Philadelphia, those three teams are shooing for the uh, the playoffs. So, basically, what would happen after that is the top. The, uh, the, after those guys, it's the top couple guys in the conference. So, basically, it wouldn't be Buffalo and New Jersey going on. It would actually be, at this point, New Jersey and Columbus going on. Uh, so, it, it looks like we're going to be making the wild card. So, uh, um, we're about five points out of that, basically, since they did implement the uh, wild card. So, um, we're going to sim to the end of the season. And, uh, well hope we make the playoffs i'm actually gonna have that uh standings up and see if we can uh, continue to have that up throughout the sim so it looks like our last game is against uh new jersey so here we go guys let's see if we can make the playoffs and that does not stay up which is stupid i believe that should stay up but anyway scouting assignment right away here so we're gonna be scouting some uh defensemen and uh, God knows where. Um, probably OHL. Cool. So update that scouting assignment, and uh, let's continue here uh, on the sim. The simulation. So uh, we'll go to right there, and uh, here we go. So nice three nothing went over the caps uh, after the trade deadline. The accusations we made, you probably remember, or probably don't remember in the last video anyway. Uh, I don't even remember. <laughs> to be one hundred percent honest, um, I do believe actually we picked up some depth at the uh, at forward. So hopefully that helps out. Um, and uh, maybe some depth at the. I, I forget oh. to be one hundred percent honest. It's been like two weeks. Sorry about that, guys. If and I have an update video out for October, so definitely check that out. And that explains a little bit of how frequent you're going to be seeing videos from me. Um, so definitely do that so we can get a nasty loss to the Coyotes. And now we're facing Carolina. Should be a good win to get. Which we do. Which is perfect. <laughs> Here we go. And we... Lose in overtime to Minnesota. Um, and now we got New Jersey and we beat them. So we definitely, we need to get on a streak here to uh, confirm a uh, playoff spot for us, basically. So I'd really like to see a nice streak here. Bergeron with 30 goals. That's great. Um, oh, we got Eric Johnson. I forget when we did I think we did that. I had to trade that line, possibly. I don't know. Um, we just lost to Johnson's former team and the Coyotes as well. Ouch. So now we got the Habs, and this could be important in that playoff race. Actually, I believe, no, they're leading the division, so never mind. And we beat them, so that's nice. So 35, 30, and 7. Every game matters now, here on out. We got, like, the last six-ish games left. And actually, after this rematch against uh, Chicago, I'm going to stop it, and we're going to check out the standings just to get a feel for where we are. Uh, 77, so... 83 is the cutoff right now, so we're still five points back. We've made no progress, uh, which is unfortunate. So we definitely, here we go. We got the Caps. We got the Flyers. That game against New Jersey is going to be huge. Like, this game against Toronto is huge. Um, do we face Buffalo at all again? Yeah, we. that game is huge, and that game is huge. So... Uh, that's definitely something we have to look out for. So when we approach those games, I'm going to make sure Rask is in for those very important games. Because the uh, what the CPU does now is it switches back and forth the uh, goalies once in a while. 
uh, to give you more realistic stats. Because as you can see, Rask has 29 wins and Bruins have 35 wins. So they're switching in the backup once in a while. And there's a nice win against uh, the Caps. And so we're going to make sure uh, we have Rask in against Toronto. So we're, we're going to... We're going to face the Wings here and uh, hopefully beat them. Although they are a tough opponent. opponent. And overtime loss. So we're going to put Rask in. I'm just going to check the... I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Boop -boop -doo. And... 87 is the cutoff now, so we're even farther back. So we got to make sure... Uh, that we do have Rask in the lineup. Good, Rask is it currently in. And we're going to have to stop the sim every once in a while. Actually, we're going to actually look at the sim, um, I think. Not that I accidentally clicked it at all. <sighs> yeah. Oh, my God. I keep hitting the buttons too many times. And goals. Come on. And Bozak scores. Come on, and then there's Bergie answering the call. Gets it past Reimer. And Clarkson is going to score now. And Kessel, so not really looking good right now. And Fanouf, so yeah, definitely not looking good. But Pae answers. Making it 4-2, going into the third. Very important game. They have the power play. Can't do anything with it. Erickson brings the Bruins within one, and Hamilton ties it up. And Kuleman uh, stops the comeback there, answers. And Kamarov gets a goal, so it's 6-4. High-scoring affair. Come on, get the Brutes. Come back, come back. We need to. It's a must. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. Just horrible D, I guess. Because 6-4, Jesus. Why oh, I oughta. <laughs> Be nice if this would like exit like within a within uh I mean before you know my birthday um which is like over here all right so we're gonna make sure he's in for Buffalo as well but meantime and in, in the meantime that was that was bad losing to Toronto that basically kicked us out I think I think we actually might be eliminated technically now unless we win all our games and they lose all their games Toronto and Columbus and New Jersey. Uh, they have to lose like all their games and we lose one in overtime. Really? You just can't get those wins in overtime this season, man. going to go against <clears throat> Minnesota and lose to them. So it looks like the season is over guys. Uh, going to go on a limb <sighs> and uh, say that, that the season is over. As we're gonna take one last look at the standings, yeah, uh, we're out. We're definitely out now. Um. Anyway, guys, ah, disappointing season. There's de we definitely need to fix some things uh, going forward here. Phoenix looking to actually clinch the Western Conference, it looks like. And uh, we win 5 nothing. Do we, like, maybe knock uh, New Jersey out of the playoffs? Because I just, like, take pride in that. And uh, it doesn't look like we do, but that is okay. Tampa Bay leading the conference. Wow. Now what's going on in the West? Uh, Phoenix. Phoenix is what's going on in the West. So much easier to... Make the playoffs in the West. It's so stupid that they did that. They really could have just kicked Detroit in the in those divisions in the one of the Chicago, but they they're pretty stupid. Anyway, um, so that's the season, guys. Let's just uh, take a quick look. Uh, Stat Central. And uh, player stats season and NHL. So we're going to just take a quick look here. 
Just see what went wrong, maybe. Alright, Bergeron played all the game. Alright, so. Point in there. 71 Bergeron. Then Ryan and Erickson. Beyond them, Lucic. Up there as well. He had 23 goals. But, man. 71 points. That's not bad at all. So, getting them, blah, blah, blah. Alright. Let's look at penalty minutes. McQuaid. That's a lot. Let's look at plus and minus. Just really quickly. Eric Johnson, really good there. And the worst is Gagne, who we picked up from free agency. And uh, McQuaid, pretty bad, too. Uh, I want to see power play goals. Of course, it's Bergeron. And shorthanded goals, of course, it's Bergeron. Game winning goals, of course, it's Bergeron. Game tying goals. Oh, no, yeah. Um, shots, Ryan. Shooting percentage, of course, it's Bergeron. Faceoffs won. Krejci, wow, over Bergeron. Okay. Uh, faceoffs taken. Well, I guess Krejci took more. Faceoff percentage. Bork, but, you know, he probably only took three. Or he took 12. Uh, hits. Johnson giveaways. All right, this is important. Uh, Seinberg and Char. They have the top team in, and then Bergeron, you got a lot of playing time. Campbell, don't like to see that. Giordano and McQuaid, don't like to see that. Uh, takeaways, Bergeron with the most, which is nice to see. Minutes, Seidenberg, over Char, wow. And then all that. And then uh, let's just take a look at the goalies. So uh, Rass played 71 games, well. Wow. Uh, so wins, of course, Rask, and then uh, goals against average. Rask, 2.38, not bad. Um, I'd like that to be a little bit better. Well, um, goals against, 164. His save percentage was 91.999, or .99. Um, get three shutouts. Uh, yeah. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching this whole season, and uh, we'll be back next time with next season. Or, uh, well... You know, the old uh, re-sign phase, all, all that stuff. Or the draft, actually. The draft is nice. Woohoo! All right. Anyway, guys, I'll see you at the draft.